So now that we know a little bit of the theory, let's have a look at the, the examples. For example, in this one, if um, negative 6x, negative 14, and negative 15 are the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence, calculate x. And what's x? Okay, well, x is just some unknown value that, that makes up the first term, and we don't know what the first term is. Okay, so we can't find x yet. But how do we solve unknowns? Well, we solve them in equations. We just need an equation, which is exactly where the arithmetic uh, property comes in very handy. So remember we said that term 2 minus term 1 is the same as term 3 minus term 2. This is an equation, and we know term 1, term 2, and term 3. So all we do is substitute it. So term 2 is negative 14. Term 1 is um, negative 6x, so negative and negative becomes positive 6x is equal to term 3, negative 15, and term 2 is negative 14, so subtracting negative 14 means adding 14. And there I go, I've got an equation, and this equation is very simple to solve. All I need to do is get x on its own, which means here on the right hand, left hand side I'm going to have to add 14. And that adding 14 will get rid of the negative 14. Um, but I must do it both sides. So adding 14 on this side gives me 20. Uh, oh, well, let's do this side first. 15, negative 15 plus 14 gives me negative 1. Negative 1 plus 14 gives me 13. Okay, so to solve x, just divide both sides with a 6 to get x on its own. And there we have it. We've calculated x. x is equal to 13 over 6. Leave it like that. That's a beautiful answer. Just leave it like that. x is 13 over 6. The second question is, what is term 79? Okay, what is term 79? Well, um, it would be great if we have the general term at this stage. So if we had tn, that would be awesome. So let's see. The general term, so actually what you should do is, when you, when you read this question, and if you get there, when you see that, you should immediately write there, tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. That should trigger something in your mind remembering this formula. Because in this formula we can see we're going to have to find out what the first term is and what the constant difference is. So at this point it's no problem n minus 1 d. Can we find the first term? a being the first term. Let's see. So t79, let's substitute what we do know. t79 is equal to, the first term is negative 6x. Negative 6, but instead of x we now have a value for x. 13 over 6 plus, we want the 79th term, so n is equal to 79 minus 1, okay, and d is equal to, what is that? d is the difference between consecutive terms. What am I adding every time? Let's see, okay, to get from negative 14 to negative 15, I subtracted 1, so d is actually negative 1. And that gives me 6, 6 cancel, so I get negative 13, and this one, negative 1, this answer is going to be, what's it, uh, 78. And multiply by that, negative 78, which gives me a final answer, negative 13, negative 78, negative 91. Negative 91 would be the 79th term in this sequence. Now, was that so difficult? What's very important, we need to remember the formula and also uh, or, or the general term actually, and also we should really try and remember this, okay, the arithmetic property. Let's look at another example.